what the haters don't understand is that I can I can make any video I like any way I like I can make a video about pogo sticks unicycles whatever I want to do they make whatever videos they like but they think that they have the right to dictate what others can do I'm going to tell you about capitalism the reason you don't like your job the reason you sometimes don't like your job, the reason you sometimes do not get along with the boss or your supervisor, the same impulse that drives a cat, whether it's your house cat or whether it's a tiger in the jungle, the same impulse that drives a cat to attack its prey is the same impulse that drives your supervisor or your boss to seek lofty titles, shiny new trucks, and trinkets to show off to his friends and neighbors. Trinkets, gold watches, diamond jewelry for his wife, mink coats for his wife, fancy furniture. That's kind of ugly, but that same impulse that drives your boss or the owner of the business or the fancy stuffed Bruce suits Resco, in the office. An American citizen in his 50s, Resco came to the United States from Syria. An American citizen in his 50s, Resco came to the United States from Syria when he was 19 years old. An American citizen in his 50s, Resco came to the United States from Syria, 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 Syria when he was 19 years old and George Ryan, and more recently raised large sums of money for Democrat Rod Blagojevich, and more recently raised large sums of money for Democrat Rod Blagojevich. The state's current governor, Blagojevich, has not been accused of wrongdoing in the Resco trial, but prosecutors have alleged that Resco spread around enough cash that he could influence Blagojevich's appointments to powerful state boards. What is Resco's connection to Obama? The two men met after Obama graduated from Harvard Law School. The developer offered the young lawyer a job at his real estate company. Obama turned him down, but as it happened, the law firm Obama went to work for represented a nonprofit group that participated in some of Resco's low-income housing developments. Obama himself did a small amount of legal work on Resco-related matters, about six billable hours over a two-year period, according to Obama's campaign. When Obama embarked on a political career, Resco and his associates contributed generously to his campaigns. Obama claims that uh, Resco only raised $10,000, which is a pitiful, trifling, small amount. But according to this article in Newsweek, Resco... This article, written shortly before the invasion of Iraq in 2003, says, quote, Today, the Workers' World Party devotes much of its energy to supporting the regimes in Iraq and North Korea. At the demonstration, which many media reports portrayed as a gathering of mainstream Americans, speaker after speaker condemned the United States with ancient communist rhetoric. Revolution, struggle, oppressed people, imperialism, and liberation. One speaker even addressed her fellow protesters as comrades. Given the impressive strength of the public address system, it felt like a liberal blast from the past. And if the subject had not been so serious, it might have seemed almost quaint. But the demonstration's organizers, perhaps unwittingly, made a very serious point. More than a decade after the fall of the Soviet Union, and long after most Americans stopped worrying about the Red Menace, a significant part of the movement that has risen up in opposition to war in Iraq is, in essence, a communist front. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of capitalism. I'm sick of, the, of, of having neatly packaged rows of fresh bread at an affordable price for sale at the stores. I hate that. I'd rather the shelves be empty. Because right now I'm eating a peanut butter sandwich and washing it down with coffee. Capitalism is, it, just, it sucks. Man, I, I'm tired of it. I'm ready for some Marxism. I want to be like Cuba. I want to be like Red China. I want to redistribute the wealth. The same way as I would redistribute my wealth to my pets. I have stray cats that have found refuge here and um, they've reproduced as cats do when cats are not neutered and so now I've got 14 I don't know how many cats outside always hungry and if I had 
one piece of bread left. That's that's all the food I had. I would redistribute that wealth, or would I? I would think, you know, I could divide this piece of bread up between 14 cats and a dog. But you know, the dog, the dog especially, would be tormented to, to get just one little fragment of bread. He'd be better off if he was not tormented by that one little fragment of bread. All that will do is set him to drooling. And I can't give bread to the cats if I don't give bread to the dogs. 